All right, fellas, Arthur here from No Fee Fitness, and today I'm busting open one of the oldest myths in bodybuilding, that hitting each muscle once a week is somehow the gold standard for growth. Spoiler alert, it's not. In fact, if you're still stuck in the chest day Monday, leg day Tuesday mindset, you're probably leaving serious gains behind. It's time we talked about why high frequency training isn't just another trend, it's potentially your greatest untapped tool for maximum muscle growth. Let's start simple. Frequency is how often you train a muscle within a week. For years, bros everywhere have preached that muscles need a full week to recover and grow. But here's the cold hard truth. That weekly schedule you've been following is literally just a calendar we invented centuries ago. Your biceps, pecs, and quads don't know what a week is. They only know stimulus and recovery. So why limit yourself to hitting each muscle just once every seven days? Here's the thing. Your muscles don't need a whole week off. In fact, research shows that muscle protein synthesis, fancy talk for muscle building, peaks after training, but returns to baseline within a couple days. By training a muscle more frequently, you keep it constantly in that growth zone. Think of it like making cash deposits. Do you really only wanna hit the bank once a week? Hell no, you'd rather deposit frequently, keep compounding those returns and cash out bigger in the long run. But let's talk real science for a second. Studies clearly demonstrate that splitting your weekly training volume into several smaller sessions boosts both your strength and your gains. If you take 15 sets of chest exercises and cram them all into Monday, how fresh do you think you'll feel by set number 10, let alone set 15? Yeah, you're toast by then. But if you split those same 15 sets into three workouts of five sets each, say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you stay fresh and can push harder each set. That means more total reps, heavier weights, and ultimately, better muscle growth. Science calls it increased training quality, but you can just call it getting jacked smarter. Now you might be thinking, more frequent workouts mean more fatigue, right? Wrong, it's a common misconception. When people think high frequency, they often imagine brutal squat workouts every day. Of course, if you squat heavy every single session, your joints will scream. But here's the catch. No one said you have to train heavy every session. The beauty of high frequency training is that it lets you vary your intensity and rep ranges across the week. Hit your heavy squats on Monday, moderate reps on Wednesday, and lighter, higher rep work on Friday. Your muscles keep growing, your joints thank you, and you don't burn yourself out. Plus, by spreading out your workouts, you actually recover faster. Counterintuitive, maybe, but multiple studies show that splitting volume across more sessions results in less soreness, better recovery, and fewer injuries. It's like doing homework. Cram it all in one night and you're miserable, spread it out and life becomes a whole lot easier. High frequency training gives you less pain, more gains. What's not to love? Let's take it further. How about total weekly volume? Here's another huge advantage of training a muscle three or four times per week. You can handle a lot more sets overall. Imagine trying to smash 25 or 30 sets of back in one session. Sounds insane, right? Most guys who claim to do this aren't training hard enough to actually stimulate growth anyway. But spread those same sets across multiple sessions and suddenly, it's manageable. In fact, with smart programming, 30 high quality sets per week isn't just possible, it's optimal for some muscles. Your calves not growing? Try hitting them four times a week instead of one. Watch what happens when you actually give them the stimulus they've been begging for. But let's address the elephant in the room, joint and connective tissue stress. High frequency training doesn't inherently trash your joints. The real problem occurs when guys stubbornly lift heavy every single day without variation. Your muscles can handle frequent training much better than your joints. That's why when you increase frequency, you vary the rep ranges. Heavy early in the week, moderate midweek, and lighter, higher rep sessions towards the end. This strategy protects your joints while still maximizing muscular growth. One common mistake that I've seen ruin guys when they jump into high frequency training is ignoring signs of pain or injury. If your knee hurts on Monday and you push through pain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday without adjusting anything, you're just digging yourself deeper into a hole. Listen, tough guy, there's nothing hardcore about being injured. If something hurts, change the movement, lighten the load, or take a short break. High frequency means smarter, not stubborn training. And here's a crucial point that guys often overlook. Every set doesn't have to crush you. 
quality always beats quantity. The research confirms what the best coaches already know. After about six to eight hard sets per muscle in one session, you get significantly diminished returns. So why keep grinding away for extra sets that aren't delivering maximum benefit? Instead, split your volume smartly throughout the week. Each workout stays fresh and productive. You grow more muscle with less systemic fatigue. Plus, by spreading out your workouts, you actually recover faster. Counterintuitive? Maybe, but multiple studies show that splitting volume across more sessions results in less soreness, better recovery, and fewer injuries. It's like doing homework. Cram it all in one night and you're miserable, spread it out, and life becomes a whole lot easier. High frequency training gives you less pain, more gains, what's not to love? Let's take it further. How about total weekly volume? Here's another huge advantage of training a muscle three or four times per week. You can handle a lot more sets overall. Imagine trying to smash 25 or 30 sets of back in one session. Sounds insane, right? Most guys who claim to do this aren't training hard enough to actually stimulate growth anyway. But spread those same sets across multiple sessions and suddenly it's manageable. In fact, with smart programming, 30 high quality sets per week isn't just possible, it's optimal for some muscles. Your calves not growing? Try hitting them four times a week instead of one. Watch what happens when you actually give them the stimulus they've been begging for. <clears throat> but let's address the elephant in the room, joint and connective tissue stress. High frequency training doesn't inherently trash your joints. The real problem occurs when guys stubbornly lift heavy every single day without variation. Your muscles can handle frequent training much better than your joints. That's why when you increase frequency, you vary the rep ranges. Heavy, early in the week, moderate, midweek, and lighter, higher rep sessions towards the end. This strategy protects your joints while still maximizing muscular growth. One common mistake that I've seen ruin guys when they jump into high frequency training is ignoring signs of pain or injury. If your knee hurts on Monday and you push through pain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday without adjusting anything, you're just digging yourself deeper into a hole. Listen, tough guy, there's nothing hardcore about being injured. If something hurts, change the movement, lighten the load, or take a short break. High frequency means smarter, not stubborn training. And here's a crucial point that guys often overlook. Every set doesn't have to crush you. Quality always beats quantity. The research confirms what the best coaches already know. After about six to eight hard sets per muscle in one session, you get significantly diminished returns. So why keep grinding away for extra sets that aren't delivering maximum benefit? Instead, split your volume smartly throughout the week. Each workout stays fresh and productive. You grow more muscle with less systemic fatigue.